welcome back. I'm just going to do a little DIY. In my St. Patrick's Day video I sh thrift haul, I showed you this piece of vintage music that I got in this, this picture frame that I got at the thrift store. So um, I'm hoping I can do a DIY in five minutes. And you know what? If it doesn't work, I can just, uh, you know, delete the video. So I tried to open this thing, but it was all taped up. So cut that out. I think that's ink, so I'm not going to be able to erase that. Let's see if we can find a date on here. There it is. 1919. Okay. So, I got the frame, I peeled the paper off the back, and I had cardboard here, so I'm just going to pop that those staples out. Hopefully I can get them out. I had a framing injury a couple years ago. I was framing a piece of cross stitch and I had to have my sister take me to the hospital to get my finger stitched back up because of a staple. Uh, I wish I had brought pliers. Let's see if I can just yeah, do that with the scissors. Um, these are not my good scissors. Okay. Um, so then I'll just use my screwdriver to pop up these staples. It was one of those frames that have um, like the little sharp, I don't even know what they're called. Um, okay, so we'll pop that baby out. All right. This is this is supposed to be five minutes, guys. Okay, popping out the cardboard. We're popping out the original picture. Um, and we'll just give the inside glass a quick little wipe down so that there's no dust or um, sometimes old picture frames will have like a nicotine in that nicotine stuff it really can get inside of things so you don't want your image to be yellowed or damaged for that matter so just use a little window cleaner and paper towel to get that quick clean. Okay, so I could use this mat, and I think I will. So in order to keep this square, I've got a, a little tape runner. So I'll just add an itty bitty little bit of tape. I want to be able to remove this easily. Uh, but I don't want it to fall while it's inside the frame. So I'll just eyeball this. And then pop it back in the frame. Make sure that the hangy is at the top. Usually on Saturday, I spend the whole day just going thrifting. But today, I've decided I'm just going to relax, stay in my jammies all day, do some crafting and decorating and baking and that kind of thing. And uh, call it a day. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the cardboard back on. Okay. 
Two, three. I wonder I'm always hurting myself. And there we go. Now I can put the staples back down. So I'll just bend them back down over the cardboard. And I cut a piece of uh, craft paper. Um, K-R-A-F-T. So the kind of paper that you would see brown paper packages tied up with string in. So I cut it and I'm just going to add myself a little note here that the, uh, so the copyright was 1919. So that if I ever have that question in my mind again, so there is some sticky on here, uh, but I'm not sure that there's enough. So I will add some more sticky to the edge of this. I love this tape runner. I don't uh, hardly ever use glue if I can avoid glue and paper because glue makes paper shape shift, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, and now put it, again we're going to just square this up, eyeballing it. And the purpose of the paper is so that the uh, art itself doesn't get dusty, it uh, protects the art. And I need to re-eyeball this clearly because it's hanging over just a bit. Have we got, have we hit the five minutes hit? Oh yeah, we've really hit the five minutes hit. Alright, so this is an eight minute DIY. If I hadn't made the mistake of not putting the cardboard down, if I hadn't made this mistake of trying to eyeball this paper, it would have been five minutes for sure. Okay. So there is the framed and thrifted decoration. Uh, let's pick this up so you can see it just a little better. What do you think of that? All right. Tell me what you think of that by putting a comment down below. And I hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel. I will be back again later with some more crafts and treats and DIYs and of course thrift hauls. Have a great weekend.